Because here I was young, I didn't really know what was really wrong with me. I was just worried about the fact that there's something wrong with my heart. Am I going to die early? Will I be able to, you know, do something with my life? I saw that he was losing his feelings on his legs and we rushed him to the emergency. We were told that he had a rheumatic fever. I said, can this be repaired? The way they mentioned the heart, I got really shocked. I learned more information about it. They said, if you take these injections, you won't even have to worry about it. It's nothing. And so I just, you know, tried to be brave. The person who really got me through this was probably my dad. He got me to look at it from a different perspective. Oh, if other people have gone through this, this shouldn't be too hard for me either. Today, by looking at him, I'm so proud of what, as a family, that we've done so far, that he's able to achieve his dreams. I'd like to tell to other people like me is that you're not alone. Other people have been through this and that you'll get through this too. My name is um, Peggy. My name is Jerry. My name is Sally. I live in Boigo. Every month I always get my needle. My needle person is Darian. I think the most important thing with kids getting their injections is to make sure it's a positive experience. When they first walk in, in the clinic, we calm them down. We give them toys. We yarn, yarn stories. If one kid has a needle, you find that there'll be another three kids in the room, hold their hand or just be there for support. For Peggy, she said, no, mom, I don't want to get that injection anymore. I, I don't like it. I said, no, Peggy, you just have to be brave. It's good for you. It's good for your heart. You can, you can look your friends, enjoy your life. My name is Percy Quackwood. I'm from Townsville. I was nine when I found out I had rheumatic heart disease. He was waking up with pains in his joints. The doctors had just telling us it's growing pains or joint pains. We saw another doctor. She did all the tests, got the results back. They sent me straight to the hospital to get my first injection. I was panicking, but I thought it was just one say. I was like, just get it over and done with. And then I realised that I had to get it every 28 days. When you know how important it is to have that needle, that pain of that needle is little compared to what he could really go through. My biggest support has been my mum. I'm happy to deal with getting those needles if it means not getting heart surgery. I know rheumatic heart disease is serious, but if I'm up to date, keep getting the support from my mum and my family. I'll be all good. My name is Ali John Charlie. I was born and raised on Thursday Island. In July 2018, I was diagnosed with RHD. So I was called in the next day into the clinic room. That's when the cardiologist told me the news that my son was diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease. It's not something I'm going to sit and drown with. I have to support my son 100%. I have to get a needle every month. The first couple of times when I was getting the needle, it was painful until I got used to it. We talk to him a lot about the negative things about rheumatic heart and the positive things. Yes, it's something that we need to have it out there more for families to know that it's manageable, it's preventable. When you look after yourself and your health, you are looking after your heart as well. My name is Roshani. I live in Coranda. I like playing sports. Roshani, she's got rheumatic fever and she has her, you know, injections every month. Go with her to the doctor, make sure she keeps on top of it. When we get to the doctors, she gets agitated, very scared and don't want to have it. While she's having the needle, we just count. When I stand up on the chair, she cuddles me and then I have my needle. She said, why, why do I have to get the needles? Why, why me, you know? I just tell her to, that she has, you know, had the needle so to keep her heart healthy. My message to other people like me is to keep getting your needle because it will stop you from getting sick. I'm 
my name is Jeremiah Costello. I'm from Europe and founded Queensland. In 2005, I was diagnosed with rheumatic fever. When I first got the symptoms, I was just scared, you know. My dad explained it to me. He said, keep update with your needle, and you know, that's how you won't get sick. I was scared of needles, but I got used to it. I started going to the clinic myself. You're only there for like three or four minutes. Uh, my family, most important to me. I have to go for my checks up and that, otherwise I get sick. And who's gonna want them kids, you know? I encourage you to have your injection every time and on time. That is the only protection and prevention against the bug. My message for other people would be to think positive. I was in the hospital for four days. I was asking mum, why am I here? And they're putting like needles and everything out. This isn't just something that's going to disappear overnight. This is something we're going to have to live with. So what do I need to do so that she's not afraid? I was 10 first went from my injection and when it first got in my skin and squeezing my mum's hand, I'm like wanting to cry. By understanding it all, it makes it a lot easier for you to go forward and do the right thing by your child. Just don't be afraid, gain the knowledge. If you have any concerns, ask a doctor about it. Know that it is going to get better within the long term. I first found out I had rheumatic heart disease when I was eight years old. The start of Tiana's sickness, her elbows and knees started to feel painful. We went to the doctors. The doctors checked her heart and it was beating really fast. The doctor told us that she needed to have surgery, like we couldn't sleep at night. The doctors gave us a script for Tiana's medications and she had to get injections every month. My mum comes with me to get my injection to help me feel not so scared. My message for all the other kids like me is to keep going to the doctor because they will make you better.